Good evening. Uh, I'd like to thank you, the media, everybody, uh, who are here to break bread with me. And uh, the purpose really is to give you an opportunity to ask me questions that you have been longing to find about. So, if I think there's a moderator, or if there is none, you just raise your hand, and uh, I'd be glad to accommodate everybody. You. Sir? Mm, yes, sir. Good evening, Sir Joseph, on GMA7. Sir, of course, you know the issue of Kikia. How do you wrap your mind around this incident? Because before, what you said, warning you to the drug addicts, do not kill the future generations of Filipinos. No? Yes. And then, the cases that you said, the cases of the OFW that you sacrificed, and they return to a broken family. Kian is a perfect example of uh, uh, a person yung na inaalaga ng magulang and then allegedly pinatay ng mga uh, rogue police. But how do you wrap your head around this incident first? I am the head of government and I am the chief of all police and the commander-in-chief of the armed forces. You know, there was this incident, nakita ko sa TV, and it was really worth commenting on, but I refrain. Why? Because naunahan ako ni Aguirre and the decision of the Justice Department, hindi mo question. The President is not allowed to do that. That would be unethical and illegal. When the Secretary of Justice ordered the NBI to investigate, the most prudent thing for me to do is to shut up and wait for the result of the investigation. I saw the tape or tapes on the TV and I agreed that there should be an investigation. Should the investigation point to liabilities by one, two or all, there will be a prosecution and they have to go to jail if convicted. That I can assure you that uh, there will be no luto luto dyan sa ano because I really do not interfere. Pag may kasalanan ka, you know, my orders to the police is this. Go out and destroy the apparatus of the drug organizations. And there are a lot of them. Kasi kung isahin mo lang, uh, ang distributor lang, ang runner, tapos yung pinaka-head, the one that's cooking, hindi mo makuha, then the activity will go on and on and on. When you say that you have to destroy the organization, I should be referring to the one cooking, the one selling, and the one distributing. Otherwise, if I stop only doon sa taas, eh, walang, walang mangyari. I cannot stop the drug problem and it is very serious. Sinasabi ko sa inyo, we are already in narco-politic state. Ang mga karamihan dyan and all the barangays are infected 92. Tama si... Santiago, during his time, he was he quoted it in one of the reports. Ngayon, nagpa-iwan yan. At, at saka, hindi na alam. Well, of course, yung anti-Duterte, pati yung uh, the bleeding hearts, I cannot convince them. So, it's really useless to answer. Kaya hindi ako nagpapa-interview. Eh, wala. They would insist on innocent yan. But, you know, let us wait for the investigation. And if the investigation points out liabilities, criminal liabilities, I will order that prosecution to the fullest, to the extent uh, of the law. To the full extent of the law. Yan ang mag ako sa inyo. I will wait. Kasi, ko, nga, sabi niyang, si Pia, ang interesado niyan, magtanong sa Rappler, pupunta ka ba doon? Sabi ko, no, I will not visit the wake. Kasi pumunta raw si Vice President. Good. Sana sinali na lang niya yung pangalan ko. 
Kasi sa gobyerno mong kami dalawa. Ganito yan eh. It is pregnant with so many suppositions. One is that, look, Duterte went there, maybe to apologize. Kasi totoo yung talagang nangyari. Then I would be putting so much pressure on the police. Mataranta na sila niya kasi ganun. Kaya ako, oh, siguro, naghingi na tawad si Duterte. I cannot do that. I cannot do that because the organization sa PNP is under me. I would be the last person to condemn them without a valid investigation. Pero kung talagang rub out ng ganun, maasahan ninyo. They have to answer for it. They have to go to jail. So I am sorry, sabihin ko sa kanila. But yung sabi ko, go out and hunt, hindi ko na kailangan sabihin na huwag din yung sugatan, huwag din yung dapat sa paalang uh, to disable yung kay Dores. Dores, kubay baril yan. Targetin mo yan dyan sa paa o sa bayag. Tang, he'll be able to pull the trigger and kill the policeman. Baliktad na tuloy. I lose two, three policemen a day. Nung isang araw, they were uh, about to serve a warrant o pinatay na una. Papunta pa lang sila, tinamaan na sa dibdib. I have lost about a hundred plus uh, soldiers. Policemen, mga about 67. Why? Bakit mas marami ang military? Because in Mindanao, alam mo na, in Marawi and in Osamis, they were producing shabo more than its normal consumption sa mga tao. So they had to sell outside of Mindanao. Ang problema doon, ang polis mismo at ang mga tanod, yun ang ginawa ng mayor doon. Every barangay, captain, binigyan niyang baril tapos sabi niya mag-organize ng tanod. Pero tao niya. Nakita mo, nakita mo niyo yung footage na nakalinya yung baril. Talo pa ang NPA na isang batalyon. Kasi lahat ng tanod, binigyan niya ng baril, employed sa city hall, di may private army siya. Kasi ang judge doon, walang conviction. Kasi sabi ko, anong klase itong Big sabihin, wala talaga ang, ang, ang nagbabaha. And ang ayaw ko kay Parahinog, kasi pati yung mga polis na ayaw sumunod sa kanya, pinatay. Meron niya pa silang pinatay na apat. Yung isa doong nilibing, yun yung polis na, I think it was the team leader, na nakuha yung buto. So we are waiting for the DNA. Yung mga uh, So they were digging in a, in a place there somewhere. Nakuha nila yung mga buto. Ang isa doon, polis. Yun yung nawala. Yun yung ayaw sumunod. Kasi nga, illegal. Ang problema, narco-politics talaga. Walang eleksyon doon, takot ang mga tao. Sunod lahat. At yung nakinabang, maligayang maligaya. Kaya sabi mo, where's the big fish? Kaya, yeah, Duterte, ano lang yun? O bigyan ko kayo ng... O si Albuera, Mayor. E kaya lang nahuli, big fish naman sana yun, nilagay na lang sa aquarium, o, ay, pinatay eh. So, outside of yung patayan, he was a big fish. He was the producer, producer of Shabo on the western side ng ano... Cebu, western side. Ang eastern side, si Odikta, Kopol, yung pinagbabaril doon sa isang port somewhere dyan sa paglanding nila. And ang mga mayors dyan, pati barong kay Captain, si Bakas sinabi ko sa Iloilo was the hotbed. Oh. Ngayon, medyo barada. Wala na. So, ang Marawi ngayon, 
pulblas sila. Tapos dito naman, yung mga vessels, foreign vessels, flying the international routes, are producing Cebu on board, then place them in the plastic cans and just jettison it outside with the GPS. So yung mga dito, I'm sorry to say this, but mga Chinese, nilagyan na yung mga GPS, tapos yung mga tao nila kukunin yung... Ay, may GPS eh. So kita ang pasok ng Shabu. Now I said nung mayor ako, ang tin plate ko kasi Davao. And I was expecting that this government was really working. Ang pagtingin ko sa kusto, except for yung mga palusot na yung taratara tawag nila, I did not expect that the, itong Bureau of Customs na ahensya ko was also importing drugs. Kaya paano kung matapos yung six months to one year? Even if you give me my, the whole term. Hindi ko matapos yan. Pati yung customs ko na inaasahan ko, nagpapalusot ng droga. O saan, saan pupunta ang Pilipino? Tapos the only problem ay sabihin nila, barbaric daw. Hindi naman na tinitignan yung anong trabaho. Tamagtanong muna kayo, ano yung trabaho ng pinatay? At sino ang pumatay? Or either way, sino ang pumatay? Bakit niya pinatay? That should be it. Hindi yung sino yung biktima, ah, mahirap ito, anak lang ito ng, you know. Sir? Ang buhay, the world is turning, planet Earth. It will not wait for you na sabihin mo, kasi anak lang ako ng uh, hold upper, anak lang ako ng puta, ganong ang buhay namin. Mahirap sir, yan. Sir, sir, picking up on your point, sir, do you have any information about what the police has already officially told you about the case as far as uh, Kian's case is concerned. Ano po yung info na nakarating yes. sa inyo? Nung nakita ko yung tape, tinawagan ko si Bato. Okay, sir. Sabi ko, hulihin mo na at kulungin mo. Hindi ninyo alam yan kasi hindi ako nagpapa-interview. Si Sunal ang gana ko. Kati si Rappler minsan, nagbabaliktad ng ano, so I had to explain kanina the role of the police and the gangster. Ganito yan eh. Police ito, gangster. If there is a confrontation, the duty of the criminal or ang dapat gawin niya is to surrender. Ang police naman is to arrest, take the criminal into custody and if there is resistance, to overcome the resistance, that is the law. You have to overcome. Otherwise, you cannot bring him to the police station to start the investigation. So in other words, kung lumaban, you have to neutralize him. I never ordered also to the police to commit suicide. Mahirap yan. Kaya nang nangyari, hindi naiintindihan uh, the police is supposed to arrest and take custody of the criminal. Ikaw yung criminal, you have a duty to surrender. And kaya, because ang duty nito, hindi lang ganon. Sir? You have to overcome the yes, limos sir. station. Sir, does that mean that the police action on the incident, on Kian, is justified? Why is it justified? No. Because the story is yet unfolding. Okay. And uh, Aguirre, uh, in a moment, sabi niya, investigate. Yan, yan yung may departamento. Ang presidente, hindi pwedeng makialam dyan. Kung sabihin ko kay Bit na gano'n, 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 na, wag, wag yan, that would be an obstruction of justice. And you can get impeached. Yung pitchable offense yan. Kaya hindi ko talaga ma... Sabihin ko doon sa SW na wag mong ibigay yung pera dyan sa ano. Dito mo ibigay. Karat do that. Dito ako sa task. Ngayon, kung pagkatapos, you need the approval if it's money, then I approve it. 
Pero hindi ako pwedeng makialam dyan sa... Hindi pwede talaga. That's bawal. Thank you, uh, Joseph Morong. Uh, next question, Trisha Makas. Are you satisfied? Ah, oh, sige. Oh. So we're good until... Uh, <laughs> sir, what? short lang naman. Short morning. lang. Sir, okay. Um, would you agree, sir, that there may be, in the number of uh, operations that the police had, that there were some abuses yeah. by the police? And if so, sir, why do you think that Cannot be it denied. can happen? Yes, sir. And hindi lahat, uh, some are, a lot of them are already facing charges in court. Hindi mo mapigilan yan. Because kung hindi dito sa fiscal, diskumpiado ka, you can always go to the ombudsman. The ombudsman is a constitutional body and nobody but nobody can... Hindi, hindi ka pwedeng pumasok dyan. Ombudsman is kagaya ng COA, ombudsman, human rights. Ang presidente, walang ano dyan. They can always say no to you and maybe say that do not do it because you can go to prison. Thank you, Joseph. Pero gusto ko lang malaman ng tao itong interplay. Kaya sinabi ko, if you are a criminal, surrender. If you are asked to surrender, drop your weapon. Because pagka nagkabarila na, pag pumutok yung police at maraming tinamaan sa bala niya, he is not criminally liable. I'm telling you now in public, and you can ask any lawyer, the liability becomes a government obligation to pay civil damages. Depende sa tao kung sinong nakapatay. Pagka police, eh hawak-hawak niya ng M16 eh, brrrr! So, it's push out a lot of ammunition. Pag tinamaan yung anin doon patay, tinamaan niya yung criminal, in the performance of duty, wala tayong magawa. Pero pag ang criminal, magbabaril niya ng police, tapos tinamaan niya yung mga tao, he is liable for the death of the police and the, yung collateral damage ng mga tao. What, what is the difference? The difference is that you are in the performance of duty. So, excusable yung collateral damage mo. Pero ang criminal, because you are a criminal, pinatay mo yung police at tag napatay mo, iyo yan. Karga sa iyo yan. That is the rule. Problem is, hindi may tao na may criminal dito, the obligation or the duty of the police is to confront and overcome the resistance of it need be patayin ka para madala ka sa estasyon. That is how these things operate in our country. Uh, next question, uh, Trisha Makas. And James. I am lecturing you about criminal law. Sir, good evening, sir. Sir, I just want to ask you about your thoughts on the rejection of the commission on appointments, sir, sa um, kay former secretary, the DSWD secretary, Judy Tagiwalo. They voted secretly. I do not know who voted for and who was against uh, Tagiwalo. And that is the job of Congress as part of the checks and balances in this government. Checks and balance yan eh. So, wala tayong magawa kung i-reject. I do not want to attribute or impute something, motive. It's a discretion and devoted secret. Whom am I supposed to, what? It, it, it's, it's not my duty to. Sir, but do you have a replacement na po for former Secretary Tagiwalo? What? A replacement? Yes, sir. Um, um, your next DSWD secretary. I just offered it to Doris Bigornia. Ayaw niya. Toto. I'm not joking. All that I ask of her is just to work and avoid corruption, period. And enjoy the duty of serving your countrymen. Yan lang natin sanabi ko. Whoever it is or would be, I am asking you just to work sincerely, Earn your keep for the day. Do not corrupt the money and I would be happy. I Sir, would even shake your hand a thousand times. 
Sir, are you still inclined to nominate someone from the left or, or to appoint someone from the left left to are replace? You, are you from the left? I know, sir. And eh, ano talaga yan? Uh, sana, Tagiwalo was a worker. Uh, but I do not, I said, uh, I do not want to inquire because nobody would tell me the truth anyway. So, because there is nobody I can ask. The voting was secret. So, baro sayang, she was really chaka bright. Sir, sundutin ko na lang po. Sir, um, you still don't have a secretary for the DILG. Meron na po ba tayong nakikita yes. na sino po sir? Yes, it's Anyo. But Anyo cannot work as a secretary because there is a prohibition that uh, he cannot be appointed because he's a military man but one year after. So, I need these services. Anyo would be under me. I would make him a senior aide of the office of the president or whatever. Or under secretary, if that is legally uh, feasible. Ilagay ko lang siya under secretary, but he performs as an uh, officer in charge. So, for now, sir, no um, DILG secretary yet? It's Anyo. But it's uh, he has a mission. Sabi ko... Taposin mo muna yung Marawi. Then, uh, I, I want you to go to the DILG. There will be a new PDEA chief. It's uh, General Aaron Aquino, the regional commander. He was uh, assigned in Davao. He's not from Davao. But, uh, you know, maraming mahusay talaga sa military. The problem is I don't know them personally. Pero kay karamihan taga Davao, but they are not Davaoenios. Along their way, kila sila si Mato, they were assigned as a uh, division commander, uh, region, reg, uh, sa regiment. So nakilala ko sila because I was working also as mayor. Uh, ito si si Mato, so, no? is bright. Basa mo lang yan. What is mining? What are permissible and what are not permissible? Then you, if anything you would like to know, just go to the internet. Everybody, everything is there. Ako hindi lang ako marunong mag ano. Tuto, yan. That's my regret actually. I do not know how to operate. Because there are many things that I want to learn at this time. But I have to ask something to do it for me. Na pumasok ka doon tapos find out the word and uh, tell me about it. Nandyan lahat eh. Ang problema lang, si Pia walang panahon. Sabi ko, turuan mo ako how to operate ng ganon. Tatingnan ko kung ano yung sinusulat niya. Ano po tabak? Been a backbite now. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Teresa Makas. Uh, next question, uh, Raymond Tinasa, Bombo Radio. Hi, sir. Yes, sir. sir. Good uh, to see you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Anyway, sir, uh, na mention nyo na thrice nang nagrender ng resignation si uh, Correct. Yeah, Nathan yeah, Feldon. On file. Yeah, so any changes or have you reconsidered na baka this time ay tanggapin and even may mga bago yata na mga deputy commissioners okay, uh, from the from the tone of his uh, resignation he's very disappointed but i really believe he's an honest man you know i don't know if i should tell you this long long before i mean even two years before uh decide ago one of the earliest uh, nagpunta, marami sila, Feldon, mga generals, they went to Davao. And they uh, sought an audience uh, with me and uh, sa aming usapan, asked me to run. One of them is Feldon. And I have watched him. And I have asked people there while he was there. And I have no reason to really to doubt uh, Government would need uh, Feldon. But uh, where, I really do not know. But, but sabi ko, you just stay there. You just cost along because I would need the services of a good, honest officer. Thank you, sir. Uh, last question. Uh, from 
Para Cedric Castillo, Jimmy Seven. Too early. Sir, Para man itong burol. Na. Sir, good evening po. Sorry, hindi na makate. Sir, what is to become of ano po, uh, General La Peña kung papalitan na siya sa PIDEA po? No, he's going to be the Commissioner of Customs. General uh, Aaron Aquino, the Regional Commander of Region 3 sa PNP, will become the PIDEA Chief. I am now looking, I'm scouting for uh, maraming mabakante dyan. So, but initially, you have the DILG and uh, itong DSWD. Now, maraming nagtanong if it is a concession to the left. Hindi naman, but I believe kasi yung mga taong ganon. Especially those who are uh, with the always with the, the people, they mix it up every time. They have the ears on the ground and alam nila what's happening. Uh, kung magkuha ka ng mayama, nasa taas, bright, pero wala namang grasp sa reality. And they could not understand really the problems of the poor. And they would never know the sentiments of the people who are really in need of help. So that's the problem. So you have, you have to get something. Uh, you know, you, I don't. Sir, to, to put on record lang, you will be accepting the resignation ma po of uh, uh, Captain Feldon. Tama po? Wala na. If I, I appoint, uh, if I appoint La Pena, automatic na yan. No need. If somebody is appointed in the position, meaning to say automatic na yan, umalis ka. But Feldon, in fairness to him, tried to resign twice. Yung papel niya, we can show to you. Just, just, just remind me, I mean, sa, nandiyan tayo sa, dyan, dyan sa palasyo ninyo. Sir, saan po? Inyo yan. Nandoon, nakafile yung papers niya of uh, resignation. Saan niyo po ilalagay si Captain Feldon, sir? I don't know, but uh, I need a man of his caliber. Feldon, I, I, si... Ay, naisahan lang siya eh. Alam mo, ang raten talaga dyan is the system. If I may say so. Not necessarily the person. But the Bureau of Customs has a raten system. You need somebody to have a, a system there, a new one, and a competent military man can do it, just like General uh, La Pena. Uh, kaya niya yan. And uh, I have uh, uh, General Lapena enjoys my, my, my confidence and trust, which is very important. Otherwise, if we go back to the same old problem. If he says that there will be a massive reorganization, sa kanya yan. It's his decision. Ilagay ko siya dyan. Sabi niya, we will reorganize a massive one. Yung taga-provinsa, dalhin niya doon, tapos ito, tapo niya sa... Sambuanga, baka ang next target ng maote ang Sambuanga, di doon sila. Sir, kailan Fights. po ang, sorry sir, kailan po ang effectivity ng uh, transfer ni uh, General Lapena? No, I uh, once the, uh, I have not made it yet. Uh, I was uh, there in Davao. I just arrived uh, last night, the other night. But I have decided na ganun. Alam ni Pael doon that uh, tatanggapin ko. So sabi ko, just give me time, do not hurry me up because I have to make decisions and select the proper and appropriate uh, human beings to do it. Sir, uh, balikan ko lang po yung insidente kay uh, Kian De Los Santos, sir. Uh, ano, gusto ko lang malaman, sir, ano po ang take nyo dun sa intelligence uh, information ng uh, Kaloocan Police na di umano, sir, itong si Kian ay... Uh, runner and the uh, courier allegedly ng drug, sir? You know, in fairness to the one who was killed, I cannot comment on that because uh, there is an investigation. It could... Uh, uh, equivocal pa ngayon, eh. So when it becomes the theory of the case and there is the result of the investigation, since we are part of the government, whatever recommendation that the NBI would make will be our take on the case. If the NBI says that we file charges of murder, then I'm sorry to the policemen 
or uh, concerned. You will have to face the, 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 the justice system. And pagka sinabi na kulungin kayo, kulungin. At sabi ko, when I said that uh, I am ordering you to go out, yung performance of duty, I did not, I need not lecture on them kasi yung lahat ng police dumaan ng two years yan. Binabakbak ka na yan sila dyan sa law of arrest, search and seizure. Alam nila ang dapat gawin. Hindi ko na kailangan. I do not have the time to lecture on them before they make uh, a raid. At saka eh, wala ako dyan. Dyan lang sa police level yan. I make decisions that affect the... Yung... Kaya yan ang problema dyan. In fairness to the... Kasi may theory nga yung sinabi mo. Uh, in fairness to the whatever, to the police, at this time, I am ganoon ako. So, depende na lang kung ano ang ilabas ng NBI. NBI has been always consistent also. It has filed charges against its own people and against military and police officers. To me, I am satisfied with the performance of Giran. The director, uh, additional yes, question sir. from yes, Do uh, Dovis Bigornia, ABS UV. Oo nga, nakalimot na natin. Pati si Rappler, walang maintriga yan kung hindi magtanong. <laughs> Kailangan magtanong ka talaga. Yes. Uh, Sir, dun sa Kian De Los Santos case, sabi ninyo, you've always said, you've always maintained that if the police were doing their job, you have their backs. And yes. even if they are convicted, yes. ipapardon mo sila. Yes. Pag mapatunayan, uh, guilty, pardon. Uh, uh, yun ang, ang, ang yes, sabi mo, step. Yes. Eh. Now, yun do sa Kian case, will you pardon them? No, because I said the evidence is, uh, I saw the evidence. That's why I called Bato. Sabi ko kay Bato, arestuhin mo at ilagay mo na sa prisuhan. Nang iyong parahinog, ako, galit ako sa lahat ng durugista. And when you control a city for two years, two decades, that's about 20 years, walang tamang eleksyon, you terrorize the person, you kill the policemen, and you control the life of everybody, to me, you are a shit. And I will wipe you from the face of the earth. Is shit eh. Sir, yung sinasabi niyong evidence against this policeman na nakita ninyo, ang pinakamalakas na nakita niyo, yung CCTV? Only. That's why I said uh, investigation should. Okay na, okay na. Sige, 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 tanong ka. Wala pa naman inaantok dito. Sige na. Bigay mo yung mic sa kanya. Huwag kang mag-alis dyan isang oras ha. Hindi, last na lang sir yung... Tama ba mo, Joseph? Si, uh, yung kay file doon na lang, technically, tinanggap, tatanggapin ninyo yung resignation niya. So, sa sobrang uh, ongoing po yung mga investigation on the BOC, when do you suppose would you be announcing officially uh, the appointment of La Peña? No, uh, anytime. Okay. Uh, kasi Congress is doing it. And I will not uh, interfere in the investigation of Congress. In the same manner that they are investigating now the death of, uh, what's her name? De Leon? Ah, De Los Santos. So, wala akong ano dyan. Whatever be the result of the investigation, we will uh, abide kung ano yan. If I see that uh, tama. Yung, yung kasi yung go out and do your duty you are not supposed to commit something which is not your duty. You have no duty to murder a person, to arrest him, and if there is resistance to overcome his arrest, and in the process killing him, yan ang uh, performance of duty. O yung arrestado na, nakaupo na dyan, barilin mo, that's another thing. That is, it would be murder or homicide, whatever. Sige, 
pinakalasa lang po. Eh, kasi binibitawan mo yung may dito ka. Oh, si hindi sir, kunin mo niya. Yung decision niyo na yan uh, on the policeman na sinabi mo na hindi gumawa gumawa ng illegal in the per performance of their duty. That applies to all. Not okay. only about the, the policeman in the Rosales case. Uh, hindi po ba kayo natatakot na kasi yan yung una ninyong pinaintindi sa mga pulis na nai-involve sa mga ganyang uh, operation. Hindi kayo natatakot that you will lose their support at hindi na nila gagawin yung kanilang trabaho kasi hindi na daw pala tayo binabakapan ng Pangulo dito eh. Look, we can only agree on what is right and legal. I do not care if you lose your trust in me. I can stay as president for one year I can go after two years. I am not. Uh, and kagaya ngayon ang they they uh, they are shouting about. Ano yung sabi nila? Yung sabi na ang may sinasabi sila na yung battle cry nila. Uh, yung magsikan. Yes. Go ahead. Lahat kayong gustong mag ano? Ka. yung himagsikan do it I will be glad if you do it because actually the system here is rotten and government also do it let us have, let's have an upheaval but since I am in government magkalaban talaga to but do it I would be glad if you do it upheaval you go to you, you want uh, to war against government go ahead I am encouraging you to take to the streets, everybody. Sino yung may gusto ng... Ano? Uh, himagsikan. Sige. Uh, himagsikan is uprising. If you want that, go ahead. You have my blessing. Nobody will stop you in the streets. But if you take uh, violence as your option... I said, go ahead and let us find out. Kung himaksikan mo kaya, it's a uprising. Kung gusto niya himaksikan, sige. I am urging all Filipinos who want himaksikan to take part. Pero ako, since I am just a worker of government, I will just have to protect. If I found if I found a or if I find or found out later that uh, I am the only one defending the government, then I, I would be happy to go down. Walang problema yan. Wala akong illusions dyan about uh, staying for five years. Go ahead. Himagsikan. It is an uprising. I encourage you to do it. At lahat ng Pilipino na naniwala dyan sa kabila, then you participate in the rally. And I assure you, I would even send trucks there for your transportation. Mag-request mag, 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 mag sila ng sakyan. I will just tell me when, kasi paparking ko dyan sa Luneta to para masakyan. Where do you want to go? Uh, go ahead. I am waiting for that actually. So that there will be a change of president and everything. And perhaps uh, the new generation will come up with something that, uh, that is a government that is really working. Uh, last question from... Sinabi ko, Kurita? No need for the military to fight the PSG. Puro sundalo yan sila. Magka-classmate yan sila dyan sa academy. PMA. Bakit kayo magpatayan? Sabihin lang ninyo kung gusto ninyo at ughunta ang gusto ninyo. Sige, dito. And I will swear them into office. Do not fight. And it's not because I'm afraid. They can shoot me after. But do not engage in kudita na pagbabarilan kayo ng... Pero ngayon, kung mayroong uprising, the least that I could do is really to say my word. Go ahead. 
Yung talaga gusto ninyo, huwag na ninyo sayangin yung demonstration ng shout shout. Go ahead and up. Uh, last question from Mr. Erwin Tool for Radio Tapos Philippines. Tapusin na natin itong istorya. Ako gusto ko tapusin na. Uprising, go ahead. Please, go ahead. Lahat ng Pilipino hindi na niwala sa polis nila o ayaw maniwala sa akin, go ahead. You have my blessing. Kudita, hindi na kailangan. All anyo has to do or yung commanding generals ng armed forces. All they have to do is to come here or tell me you step down. Ibigay ko. Yes, sir. Um, Mr. President, do you agree because uh, some of our netizens, yung mga tao, they're thinking na masyadong pinalaki na itong issue ni Kian uh, naging of national interest. Do you agree na sabi ng ilan na ginagamit na lang ito ng mga kalaban mo, ginagamit ng opposition, ginagamit ng mga politiko, ginagamit ng mga dilaw, everybody who is... Uh, ikang upset with you at ayo sa gobyerno mo is using the death of Kian. What can you say about that? Yes, sir? and all others. I cannot discount the possibility, sabi ko na, in my reply that there is a possibility that in some of the police uh, incidents, or as there could be abuses. I admit that. Pero yung gusto nila to put me down, uh, I am, I said, very much willing to to encourage them to do it. Ngayon, pag sabi ng, ano ang sabihin ng taga-guberno, that we will have to defend the Republic, then that is the time that I said, I have this sworn duty to protect the people and defend the Republic. Alam mo, Andruga, pasok sa likod, pasok by air, Pasok dyan sa Mindanao, nagluluto dyan sa Visayas. If this country will go to the dogs, then remember me. Pagka nag, nawala ako tapos ganito ang sitwasyon, then remember me. Remember my warning that I have to do this because I have to protect the people. Wala yan konstitusyon. I, Rodrigo Duterte, insert this. I swear to protect the people and defend the Republic of the Philippines. Sir, one Kung last... gustong sumunod sa akin ng military, sumunod kayo. Kung ayaw ninyo, di sabihin ninyo. Then you can, maybe you can do better. O pag namatay ako, nakras ganun. No? Bantayan lang ninyo because then, pag, if this country, I said, will go to the dogs, you will remember me. Sino bang gustong pumatay? This is uh, presidency is about election. Politiko kami. But noon pa, remember, people of the Philippines, remember this. You have heard me in the campaign. What was my promise? Three things. So that in all of my public uh, addresses, ito lang ang sinabi ko. If I become the president, I will stop the scores of drugs. I will stop corruption in the government. And I will make this country stable by going after criminals. Gun for hire, yan, mga, pati yung mga police, yung kidnapping. Yung police na mag-aristo tapos sabay kidnap. Saan ka makakita dito ng pulis na mag-grade tapos may perma na rocket nila yan, alam ko yan eh. Putang ina yung bumay kung mayroon na yung deed of sale. Putang ina nyo, hindi nyo ako kaya. Putang ina kayong pulis kayo. You will find that you are far more worse than uh, sa drug. Because you're destroying the credibility of government. Then when the government is not credible anymore, nobody will obey government and government will collapse. Kaya kayong mga police, pati lahat kayo, 
yung style ninyo. Kasi pagdating ng pagkapulis, gusto ninyo ng mga kotse, clad cruiser. Alam mo, prangkahan lang hindi kayo bagay dyan eh. Your status in life. Iniinsulto ko na kayo. You're not supposed to be riding in a land cruiser. Masyadong corny yan. Alam ng tao nga handiyang ka lang. Hindi kita insulto. Dinoble ko ang sweldo ninyo. Kayo ang inuna ko. By next year, double ang salary nila. Every month, tumataas ng tumataas. By January 1, halos kung 25,000 siya, you get 50,000. Pag yun ang ipakita mo sa akin, mga putang ina ninyo, talagang habulin ko kayo. I would be placing 2 million per head. 2 million. Alalaan ninyo may pamilya kayo. Alam namin kung saan kayo nakatira. Alam ko kung saan yung bahay ng kabit ninyo. Abangan ko lang kayo doon. Or I will tell them, get them. 2 million. Basta may warrant, kidnapping, murder for hire sa police. Two million automatic yan. Who pays the people of the Republic of the Philippines? Where do I get it? Intelligence fund. Two million, marami akong two million. Sir, one last question. Do you have any message doon po sa mga nagda-doubt sa inyong administrasyon, doon po sa kontra, yung alam na natin, mga dilawan, mga human rights, and all this, politicos on the other side. Okay. What is your message, sir? Ganito yan, my message to the people of the Philippines. I am not as brilliant as the American President Lincoln. But that guy was responsible for the abolition of slavery. It was a very noble uh, task, and he succeeded. Meron siyang phrase na gustong gusto ko uh, the equivalent of that in my religion is the Ecclesiastes 3. There is a time for everything. But there's always a time to be president and a time for you to fall if that is what God wants. Ito naman kay Lincoln. He said, if I were to try to read much less answer All attacks on me, this shop, the office of the president, might as well be closed for any other business. I do the very best I know how, the very best I can, and I mean to keep doing so until the end. If the end brings me out all right, what is said against me won't amount to anything. But if the end brings me out wrong, ten angels of God swearing I am right would make no difference. So I cannot answer everybody. Basta gawin ko lang ang ginawa ko. I made, I did not even mention last yung economy. Because I know that if I win, I can always get the support of my childhood friends. Si Dominguez, ha? Kababata ako yan. Same subdivision. Kindergarten pa kami hanggang nag high school kami. Hanggang pumunta ng Amerika na karang. He was a consistent scholar. Valedictorian. Ako, nandyan ako sa one of the ten. Pero magbilang ka dito sa last. Oh, 45 man kami sa klase eh. 45, 44, 43, nandiyan ako. Less than lowest, hindi highest. For at least one of the ten ako sa last. And that is uh, good. Hindi first ten, last ten ako. Pero okay na yan. Kasi nakabot man ng college. At uh, sa awa ng Diyos, bigor niya, Hoy, Rappler, sa awa ng Diyos, Presidente man, so, okay lang. Hmm? O, di okay. 